Hey beautiful people, so I have an encouraging message for you guys. I just want to talk about accountability today and how accountability is a form of love. When you hold yourself accountable for things, it shows that you love yourself. When you hold others accountable, it shows that you love them. Many times we don't say what we want to say to people because we feel like it's going to hurt their feelings. But little do we know we are actually bringing more harm to them than more good to them. Proverbs 27 verse 6 says, Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but the enemy multiplies kisses. You do not want to be the enemy that multiplies kisses, telling your friend what they want to hear rather than what they need to hear. When you hold them accountable, you are showing them that, hey, like, this is wrong. And I'm calling you out in love and privately so you don't do that again. So you make sure that, hey, like, you don't see this as a right thing to do. I'd rather my friend rebuke me and tell me the truth than tell me lies and feed my ego or feed my flesh. And that's the mindset that we should always have. For example, a lot of people do not like confrontation, including me. But I notice I like to face things head on. I like to get things over with and I like to go ahead and have a solution to the problem so that we can just move on and we don't just keep it there. And because I'm becoming more confrontational, people who are non-confrontational do not like speaking to me because they don't want to face that they know that they need to face. But I never worry about those things because I know that the Lord will deal with them and sooner or later they will have to come and face the very things that they don't want to face. We all have to do it. Nobody can avoid confrontation for too long. We're going to have to, my Lord, but we're going to have to face the things that we don't want to face. But that's what makes us stronger. That's what makes us better. And so, like I said, accountability is a form of love. Not only when you hold other people accountable, but when you hold yourself accountable. When you come to the realization and understand that the reason why I'm in this situation that I am in now is because of my decisions I made last year. When you realize that, hey, I'm the red flag sometimes too. When you realize I'm blaming this person so much, but I'm not taking no accountability for what I did in the relationship or what I did in the friendship or what I did in the situation. Accountability is a form of love. You have to develop accountability. Because if you do not develop accountability, you're going to go around thinking that the world and people owe you things and they don't owe you nothing. Accept your mistakes and learn from them and hold yourself accountable. And forgive yourself most of all. Because when we hold ourselves accountable, sometimes we get trapped in that guilt, that shame. Like, why would I do this? But the Lord does not call us to stay in that. That's why he died on the cross, so we would not have to stay in that. He calls us to forgive ourselves because he has already forgiven us when we come and re repent and confess to him. So I just wanted to say learn how to take others accountable, but also learn how to most importantly take yourself accountable because we love to point out the issues in other people, but we never want to face the things that we need to face and that we need to hold ourselves accountable for. So I pray that this message encourage y'all and I love y'all and hold yourself accountable and forgive yourself. Love y'all.